quickly, and it was like, you know, she was just absolutely distraught. Let's see if she can kind of put it together here and take one away from a world champion, yeah. by the way, a world champion. Underway match number three, Jakara Winchester in the blue. Jenna Burkett in the red. Burkett won match one late. Winchester won match two late. And now it's match three with a world team spot on the line. And I think what I'm looking for is how quickly do we see Jakara get to her underhook. If she's getting to it early and often, favor her. If she can't get to it and she has to rely on leg attacks, that's going to favor Jenna. Mm -hmm. uh, Jenna's ability to hand fight her down to the ground is going to be pretty important throughout the entirety of this match. She's really quick to the angle. She's learning how to navigate that short offense position with uh, more than one way of scoring. So, And looking to step in is Jakara trying to clear that two-on-one. Does. 50 seconds in. And, oh, Hail Mary headlock. Are they going to give the slip? White. Slip they're up. going slip. Yeah. And they're going to come back up. But Jakara warned for passivity. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's the first passive that's on the board. I'm not sure if Burkett knows, but she has been warned for passive. There's so Jakar, Jakar was able to get to her underhook, but a kind of a, a headlock attempt there cleared it and really bailed Jenna out of the position. But I'm not sure that's gonna be a sustainable underhook defense. And there, Jenna gonna go on the clock. Tight ties here. If you're Jakara, not probably wanting any part of a leg attack here in this this position. No, she's. I'm sure she'll be very content to watch that shot clock wind down. And wind down it does. Point on the board. Jakara Winchester strikes first. And now Jenna gonna run her out for one. They're gonna go caution in one. One confirmed. So 1-1, one, one, Burkett takes the lead. Maybe a lesson for Jakara, not gonna be able to hang and cling in those ties. Right. <clears throat> yeah, no, you, you gotta move your hands. The, the, um, kind of the, the general rule there is if you're hanging on that head for more than a two count, you should be scored on. Underhook here for, for Jenna. She has Jakara near the zone. Twenty seconds to go. Wrist control there, and I don't think they know that that stopped. So Jakar warned for passivity. Whistle blew, so it stopped yep. the action. <clears throat> And there's, there's the underhook. Can she score from a short time here? Five seconds to go. And circling gets the angle, but no, runs out of time. 1-1, one, one, Burkett leads at the break. Look, man, you know, we, we, we saw some buzzer beaters. And, oh. and every, everything points to we're going to see a tight one. You just know as it. As this thing comes down to the wire. And, and, dude, this is a great way to finish up the world team trial. Oh, man. yeah. There you see Chris Perry, Zach Esposito in the corner. For Jakara. And they come back to center. Jenna getting a little lower there. Stance check. Four to four. Now she's getting the underhook again. And this is a position that Jakara would prefer to be in, not. But she can wrestle from an overhook, but it's not ideal. Jenna, great head position from here. There's not a lot Jakara's going to be able to do. It's a good, strong control tie for Jenna Burkett. Yeah, she's uh, she's doing a good job of, 
of keeping herself towards the center too, which might pay in dividends here because they did warn Jakara. And there's another one, same thing, underhook. Drives her right out of bounds. 2-1 lead now for Gina Burkett. And she's going back now, Jakara gets her underhook. So all ones in this one, so a one for Jakara puts her in the lead, 2-2. Two -two. And not, trying that foot sweep, but it's not. Yeah, I think she's just kind of testing and, and trying to get a reaction, Jenna's yeah. yeah hips back and away a little bit so she can snap. I don't know if she really has a lot of confidence in actually kicking the foot and sweeping. Yeah. Getting her towards the zone, it's 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 slow, but now short off. What are they going to call here? That's close. Caution in one, one. Just one. Yeah. And wash. Okay, one blue. So Jakara in the lead. One forty to go, and now a two on one for Jenna Burkett. Double unders now. Jakara Winchester, 133 to go. That thigh pry might help defending, uh, but she's going to have to get a little bit of motion out of that, uh, that overhook, if she wants to stop getting bullied with that underhook. Right there, solid position, now snapping. This is so nip and tuck. I yeah. mean, it's just the, the position. It's like, who's going to get to the underhook? It kind of feels like. Yeah. Whoever gets there, and they're slide by. Now, Jenna's got the underhook. Hard wizard from Jakara, but it feels like Jenna's in a much better up. position. She's got the leg. Can she get the two? Oh, oh, how'd she do that? What in the world? She switched right at the last second. Oh, my gosh. She switched right at the last second. That was ridiculous. Got to step out. Hey, it's just a point, though. If, you, if, you're, if you're Jenna Burkett, you gotta, all yeah. you need is one. It's really... It's a, the scenario hasn't changed at all. No. One point puts you in the lead, and one point still puts you in the lead. But but that looked like two was coming for Jenna. And we're down about 45 seconds here, Piles. We got another squeaker to deal with. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 37 seconds to go. Underhook for Jakara. She definitely wants to be in this position. If you're Jim Burkett, clearing this thing is mission critical. She does, and right into a single leg. Shin Wizard for Jakara Winchester, 20 seconds. How hard, how long can she delay the finish? Jenna standing with the single leg. Now back down to the mat. Shells it, and there's two. 10 seconds left, Piles. She's going for more, she wants more. Can she Heads get it? Heads out, though. Heads Five out. seconds, okay. One won't do it. For Jakar, she's got to get a takedown. She's got to get two. She's got to find t her way to two points in five seconds to do it. Underhook, clubs. Four. Can she run behind? Two, one. Almost by the narrowest of margins, but Jennifer Kett is on the world team. 4-3 in the third and final match. And that was an incredible performance by Jenna Burkett, just an amazing. What a series. Jenna Rose And Piles. Oh my gosh. That was no shortage of emotion, whether it be from the first match and Gwiz yeah. seemingly back to form.